Horses with a history. Brands with a background. The Four Sixes Ranch presents Fastest Qualifier Day 2, Exquisite Stride. Trainers often pick out horses for their owners to buy, but this time, Exquisite Stride's owner David Dunn had already made his purchase. He picked this horse himself. I didn't, I can't take credit for that. He wanted me to look at him and uh, I said, you know, he's a big, nice colt. He's a little rough jointed, but he, I said, you know, I don't think that'll bother me or bother him. And so far it hasn't. He's been really a good sound horse. We didn't run him much. In this case, not much means just one start prior to the All-American Trials. They're running. Exquisite stride, didn't get away the greatest. Out for the lead, Mad Max at the rail. In between runners is Just Make It Jolie. Exquisite stride is now coming on powerfully. And then a political courage followed up by Just By Marcy. Exquisite strides the new leader, Exquisite stride. And then it's Just Make It Jolie and Just By Marcy, Exquisite stride. Despite a less than perfect start, Exquisite Stride draws away to win by daylight. Jimmy Brooks, first call rider for the Willis Stable, guided the fastest qualifier home. The aptly named Exquisite Stride is by Carter's Cartel and was bred by John Andrini. His $20,000 sale purchase price surely looks a bargain now, especially after overcoming the break. Yeah, he didn't break very well, and then he ran really good on the end. It takes a real fast horse to do that. If he'll get away, they'll have him, you know, he'll be really hard to outrun. 